So I, I am a member of Greenocratic Organization, which is a Lebanese NGO. Uh, we were established in 2011, and we have members from different fields with one goal in common, which is a better environment. Our projects until now are actually in uh, school and university awareness campaigns. There's the Blue Whale Boat, which we'll talk about afterwards. The Shopping Under the Sea Cart. Uh, we will also talk about it in, in Let's Do It Mediterranean. And Let's Do It Lebanon project. There are actually two new projects that we're working on now uh, with the private sector. Uh, one of which is actually a household collection system where we actually ask from people to sort their waste in their own houses and we pay them for that waste. So it's like a full circle, they, they sort, we take the garbage, we manage it, we, uh, we sell it to recycling plants and we give the money to the household owners. This way they get more incentives and they, they become more in, uh, with, ha with the habit of sorting their own waste. Uh, there's another project an even bigger one, because in Lebanon we have lots of quarry problems. Lebanon has really, in comparison for the region, we are the only ones that have so high mountains, but we actually destroy them by, because we need the, the rocks to build buildings and, or whatever. So at the end, we have half of a mountain left. Uh, so we're trying to create a project where we can fill the, the whole mountain with uh, with the discarded waste, but it's not uh, that can be recycled or reused or whatever. It's actually also from old buildings, because we destroy old buildings, we build new ones. And uh, the destruction of old buildings creates lots of waste that cannot be used anywhere. We just throw it everywhere. So this way we can reuse them to build the mountain again and replant it so it would become a mountain once again. So these are two new projects we're working on now. Now I'm going to talk. We, I'm going to continue to Let's Do It Lebanon because we are managing it. We had the plans to have the Let's Do It Lebanon 2012 on 9th of September, but during the summer we had so many security problems, so we had to postpone it till 21st of April 2013. Uh, now let's go to Let's Do It Mediterranean. Fast. <laughs> Okay, um, as you have heard, maybe most of you have heard of Let's Do It Mediterranean, which is, in our opinion, the next step or the evolution of the Let's Do It idea. It's not just cleaning up countries, it's actually merging many countries into a single cleanup. You've done it in Western Europe a little bit, but you tried. But now it's, we're trying on a bigger scale, but not just cleaning the countries, it's actually cleaning the waters themselves, the Mediterranean Sea, which is the biggest sea in the world, yet it's also, as you know, it's not an ocean. So we're trying to do something to clean the sea and eventually um, enlarge it so that it can be done on oceans. So uh, there's a video presentation that I don't I'll show you the video at the end, because <laughs> it's going to be difficult now. So let's do it Mediterranean. We're going to talk about some of the problems. Uh, I've seen this picture on your presentation, by the way, the same picture. <coughs> the last, last slide, just checking. <laughs> so it's, it's marine pollution all over the world. Some places they have so much. This is actually floating waste on water. And this guy is actually uh, with the boat in the waste. In open seas, there are lots of uh, they're called ghost nets, and they capture all kinds of animals, or this like this turtle. So we we have lots of problems. Some in, in some countries they have to try they try to control that waste through some things, some netting systems or whatever. Uh, but also there's the petroleum pollution, like you can see here, and this is the human waste. This is how a sewer is. Uh, it, it's it's uh, draining out in the sea. Sometimes there's also infect uh, infestations of animals. These are actually uh, jellyfish. 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 Because in one place they take the, the, the sperms or whatever, the eggs of jellyfish, and they go to another area where there are no animals that eat them. 
and with ballast water, they, uh, they, remo they, they just put them in other ports that, and there they, they become like this. So it's actually an infestation. They actually kill everything in the area. What are the solutions that already exist for cleaning open water? This is it. They actually have this kind of net and they collect it. So imagine how much labor it needs, how much people it needs to do such a thing. Now, in Europe, they are starting this trawling system where they ask from two fishermen to go and to collect these, and at the end of the day, they pay them. So, but the paying, paying for the waste that they collect is not actually cost effective because the waste is not worth as much as they pay them. So it's actually using taxpayers' money from Europe to pay for the cleanup, which is actually a loss. Uh, one idea that we presented in, uh, let's do it uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, January last year, was the Blue Whale Boat, which is an invention that we created in Lebanon, and that is solely designed for uh, cleaning up the surface of the water. So one boat can clean as much as maybe 100 people within the same time, with the same space. So this is the design, this is the video. This is how it works. It's a, it's a small video, about 10 seconds, if it works. Okay. So you can see the boat itself, it can open so that it can uh, um, capture more waste and it can, when it returns to the, to, the, to the marina, it closes up so that it can enter it. So if there is a small marina, that's a very <coughs> practical thing to do. Mm -hmm. And the waste itself is never touched by any person. Because if you remember the, the concept that exists in Europe, they need two boats and they need approximately 10 to 15 people to, to remove the waste. Here, you don't need any, any person. It's just operators of equipment. For the Let's Do It Mediterranean, we have designed something else that is a lot cheaper and can be used by everyone. Because the concept was by the science team that we need something that makes people who are in love with the sea, usually there are mariners, to actually get more involved and they want to help with this. Like, let's do it. When you want to clean your area, all you need to do is get a, a bag and just <coughs> begin cleaning. Here, all you need to do is get this unified netting system, which is a very simple design <coughs> to so this is it. It's attached to any boat, and just the boat goes forward. Like this system itself, it costed less than fifty dollars, by the way. So for a bigger boat, for a bigger, and this is just a prototype, so it's nothing. It's this is the end product is not going to look like this. But we wanted to make sure that this kind of design actually works and can be attached to the boat. It's a regular boat. We just attached the system on it. This is the system outside the water and it floats when it goes in and it's directly attached and this is it. And this, this was done between Greenocratic, Let's Do It Mediterranean and Phoenix Boats International. The underwater shopping cart. Mm -hmm. Remember this? I remember very well. Well, well you're going to see it now. <laughs> so if you look underwater, this is how it looks like. This is how much trash there is. I don't know if you can see the cans here, but it's all cans on the, on the, on the sea bottom. So the the sea bottom has become a big uh, bin, and there are like, this is actually in Korea. These are people who, are, who actually clean the sea, but if you notice those red bags, this is what they collect the waste with. This is what exists now. So you can see that a guy, a diver, within two hours of diving can collect maybe five kilograms of waste, but now this is the design of the machine itself. It's actually a shopping cart, a regular shopping cart, but on a larger scale, with two engines on the back that push it forward. And it actually dives next to the diver, and it is controlled by those red ribbons. So when he pulls it, it goes to his side. When he pulls it up, it goes up. When he pulls it down, it goes down. So it's a simple mechanical design. The whole machine should cost under $500. And uh, they, all they need to do is imagine this is the, the machine. All the diver needs to do is just pick up the garbage and put it in the shopping cart. It's like shopping. With a simple button, those uh, cylindrical <coughs> shapes, they will fill up with air and it would float and it can be pulled down by any boat that's in the area. So this 
would permit two divers within a two hour dive to collect between 500 to 1,000 kilograms, which is 50 to 100 times more than usual, than what exists now. Uh, there's also the solar powered sand cleaner. We all know the sand cleaner machine. I don't know if you, you know it. It's actually a sand cleaner that, that is pulled by another machine. So you need petrol, you need another machine. It costs a minimum of $5,000. We are designing, this is how it, this is actually the cheapest one, and, but it doesn't <coughs> clean as much. Uh, usually this is the, the known design for the sand cleaners. We are designing a full system powered by the sun it actually pulls itself, so it doesn't have any, we don't need any petroleum, we don't need anything. It's just solar, solar panels, an engine, and the design itself, it pulls itself forward, all it needs is a driver. And he doesn't sit on it, so it's like uh, just walking with the lawn mowing machine. Now, the idea of Let's Do It Mediterranean is not just the cleanup, and this is the evolution from Let's Do It. It's not just preventing, it's not just cleaning up, it's also preventing from uh, accumulating again and this is what you gave as an example which is the water if you have a faucet if you have a, a room full of water with a faucet running you don't clean the water and keep the faucet, faucet on so you have to close it and you have to close it well so the project of let's do it Mediterranean is over five years and during those five years we'll have many cleanups mainly five one per year just for the people to get involved but our teams are going to be researching every source of pollution. Rivers, uh, creeks, uh, factories, whatever. All sources of pollution. We will have filters, like this one, there's a net. This is a system of filter on uh, rain. And this is also another one. Or like this one, it's actually in, uh, in the US. I don't remember in which state. But they actually have this kind of net. And every two months, they just collect the waste from going to the, to the sea. So this is one of, one of the ideas that we might be using according to the needs. For example, if there's, if there's a marine life in that river, we cannot put nets. So each source of pollution would need a specific solution. So, and this is actually the role of the R&D. Another uh, design or an idea is actually to reduce, no, I'm, I'm, I'm on time, is actually to reduce uh, uh, the usage of petroleum in the Mediterranean Sea, and it is by creating solar-powered marinas. So the marina itself would generate electricity that can be used by the boats, where the boats also will be changed into electrical boats. So we don't use any more. It's, it's cheaper, it's better, and uh, it's more environmental. <coughs> so these are some designs for the project. So this is it. Now, for Let's Do It Mediterranean, we have done, we have started the mapping process. Uh, this is actually a region in Lebanon. Uh, we have started a mapping process to be reproduced all over the Mediterranean so that we know where there is waste. For example, you all know about the mapping uh, application on iPhone or on uh, Android. This is actually a different way, but to show the same place, but it's for the sea. So the more there is waste, the green is actually there is no waste, and the red is actually maximum waste. So it's where the waste is, over a, a few miles from the seashore. And uh, this way we can know how to plan, what to do with our action plan, how, to, how many boats we might need, how many netting systems we need, even underwater. But if you notice here the black, uh, squares that are for the underwater are empty because uh, during the time we did that, that mapping, uh, the water was not clear enough to, to actually be, be, be mapped. So, and I'm not, well then, done. Okay. Any questions? No, it's not good. I was wondering how you're going to fund all those great machines in the water. Okay, um, there are multiple projects for funding, uh, some from sponsors, uh, some from like events, parties, uh, whatever, so regular sponsorship proposals. Now there is an idea that I proposed to the team and it's still it's not completely accepted, but they accepted the, the notion of it. And it's actually to get some kind of donation lottery system 
over 25 boats. So it's like we're getting boats uh, to we're manufacturing them because all the equipment that we're talking about we're going to manufacture. We're not going to buy anything from outside. So it's going to be some of the equipment is going to be donated. The maybe the raw material would be donated, but the manufacturing it's going to cost money, and this this is going to reduce a lot from the cost. Until now, the overall budget is going to be at the minimum of 50 million euros. Yes, it's a lot. I was thinking already. Yeah. So the idea is that those uh, those uh, this lottery or uh, donation system, it's going to be that every person there's going to be a website that is under the control of a private company, but all the money and the finances are under control of Let's Do It World and Let's Do It Mediterranean. So there is no, not, no profit for the company. Okay. It's going to offer the, the boats, manufacture them, 25 boats. The smallest boat is going to be 6 meters long. The biggest boat is 25 meters long. Yeah. So it's actually double the size of this room. Yeah. And it's going to be the overall worth of those products is about 15 million euros. There's going to be an international lottery donation system. So each 10 euros that you donate, you get a ticket or a number. But so, for example, um, for the 13th until 15th September, mm -hmm. uh, when you have the Let's Do It Mediterranean, the boats will be there. And it would be, for example, for possible that uh, if I say, well, let's clean the North Sea see, between 15 and 17 September, that we borrow your boats. That's the idea. Then we have a deal. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, no, that's the idea. Actually, yeah. what we're doing in Let's Do It Mediterranean can be copy-pasted everywhere in the world. Yeah, but can and we, we borrow your boats? Yes. So we don't have to spend yes, 50 yes, million yes. euros. Yes, yes, Thank you no, very no, this much. No, no, this is, this is the plan. Done. We, we already <laughs> spoke about this for the Gulf area. Done. Thank you. You know, when it's clean, you don't need anymore. So. No, but uh, he's only doing the Mediterranean. No. I have a whole 18% of the Netherlands is water. Hey, so now we, I have boats. We can rent them. <laughs> It can generate money for the project, for your project. Like you can get sponsors to pay for the boats. No, we will not rent it. We will borrow them. Okay, you just. <laughs> okay, yeah. For you, I will. Since question. the equipment is there, why not use it? There's another question yes. in the back. Good recording. Thanks. I'd like to see the new innovation and creative ideas used in Lebanon. Actually, my query is whether that solar power. Uh, cleaning or that that equipment only used for cleaning the campaign or that used on that purpose also. Uh, I just only for cleaning the sand. sand yes, the actually, this is a sand cleaner, so it is just for the sand. Uh, well, what would you imagine it could be used for something else? Like what? Nepal. <laughs> yes, but how to clean? Up? You mean the, the the land itself? No, actually, there is another equipment that uh, we're designing now. Vacuum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the supersonic vacuums that clean up the beaches. Supersonic? We, no. Yeah, we've got some in Hong Kong now. Mm, They're pretty I, cool. I never, yeah, I never heard of that. Massive Do vacuums. Yeah, yeah, but like for like a hover system like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's never but it's for, for, for... powered by... Yeah, we used it this year. Yeah, but it's not for sand. Uh, yeah, you can do it on sand. Yeah, but what is it? Vacuum the sand no. also? Just takes. <laughs> yeah. It filters out the sand. It takes all the plastic and the metals and everything. But it was really good for because we've got tons of polystyrene that's broken down into tiny pieces yes. and, and the microplastics. And then I need to see that equipment. Spill. I need it's, to see it. Yeah, Please. sure. Uh, just the name, brand, whatever, yeah. uh, we can reproduce it. Yeah, we can reproduce it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's cheaper. This is the, the sand cleaner. It's, it's 5,000. Yeah. We're going to reproduce it for 2,500. I have a question about the, uh, the underwater uh, shopping, shopping cart. cart. Yeah, I, I need to just Sorry. I'll answer him and then, yes. Uh, well, there are different systems for the for regular land. Like we have a system that's mechanical. Like if you want to jog in the morning and you want to do something environmental, you just strap this machine and you, you run and it actually collects the, the waste behind you. <laughs> when you get home, you just remove it. It's like, like, a, like a whatever, you, you, you get all the waste in it and you just put it in, in the trash. So there, there are lots of solutions. It's a specific mechanical design. There is a 
an idea. I mentioned it last year. That uh, and let's do it uh, in February. The whole blueprint is gonna be offered for free for whole, for the all, te all teams, so that they can use it, or give it, or whatever. It's gonna be for free. You just reproduce it, you manufacture it, and it should cost less than twenty, thirty dollars per machine. So it's nothing. Underwater shopping cart. Yeah. Um, isn't the trash going to flow up? When no. The, oh, is it covered at the top? No, no, no. The design, no, no. It looks no, no. What? The, the waste that is yeah. actually on the seabed is actually heavy. Heavy. It's not going to float. Okay. Why did it go on the oh, seabed? Yeah. Good point. <laughs> 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 well, some of it, like ropes and stuff like that, you untangle and then... No, they're, they're not going to float. They're, it's, okay. it's, 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 once they are down, they're not going to float. And we're not going to untangle before, before taking them. Okay, it's one last question. Stay. Yes. Which one? Okay, two <laughs> questions and that's it. Okay. First, first, okay. yes. do, do you also have a, like that type of machine that, can, that is feasible to clean up uh, rivers like Nepal? Yes. I actually spoke with this with uh, Pravin. I spoke with him that we can reproduce smaller sizes for the rivers in, uh, in Nepal. But we need to discuss, the, the, I, yeah, I mean, the R&D team should research the types of river that you need to clean, how they need to be cleaned. So the modification should be different. Like this machine is able to modify like the move with the waves up to like one meter. But if you're here with really rapids, so it's going to be a little bit different. So we need to find a different way to do those. There is always a solution. Just you try and there's a solution. For example, I can now think of something. You can have people on both sides and like they scoop this way, they scoop that way and it's like cleaning, cleaning all together. And it's just one, one System. But so the boom systems are quite good. The netting with the boom systems. Are yeah, but if it's in the river, most of uh, as we noticed in the river here, it's like in <coughs> variable places. Yeah. So you need to clean them all. You okay. need to go off of the river. Yes. The last question. Another question. I saw your picture. This human waste, you know. Human waste. Yes. Okay. The it's source. Just a picture <laughs> that you click, or uh, where does it come from, or any plans? This is actually a regular uh, sewer in any country in the world. They put like a netting system, and this is how it goes out. This is this is actually pure pure sewage. So it's not there is pure no sewage. Pure, pure sewage. Yeah. Pure. There is there is no plastics in it. Pure. There are no. Uh, is it an uh, oxymoron? It's, it's not <laughs> actually. <laughs> it's, the, it's not actual pollution, but still, uh, these are sources because sometimes they are not netted. There are no this filtration. Is also organic. And uh, yeah, it's, it's purely organic at least. Organic. Yes, it's okay, <laughs> but others they're not, and this is the biggest problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And if you have more questions, uh, no. don't ask him.